Hi, this is Seema and I'm your trainer for today. Today I will be teaching you a lesson on idioms, phrases and words with relation to shopping and all kinds of activities which relate to buying things. Um, well, I'm sure this is going to be a very interesting topic for all of you because we all love to shop, we all love to buy new things, don't we? Uh, I'm sure uh, this, you know, you've all been shopping a lot lately over the weekend maybe and even apart from that, you know that we, all of us, are ultimate consumers. We consume things every day. So this lesson is is done with the intention of helping you to apply uh, certain words, idioms and phrases in your regular life. So, so you can always apply them uh, you know, whenever you're buying things, you're shopping for new things. So I will be back with new phrases, new words. So please, please be there. I will be back. All right, so now let's look at some phrases and idioms with relation to shopping and activities about buying. The first one is to buy a lemon. What does that mean? No, it does not necessarily mean literally going out and buying a lemon. No, it means that you buy something that proves to be worthless. Well, how many times have we bought something and then realized that it's kind of too much, you know, to pay for? Uh, for example, you can say that I have bought a car which was worthless. But instead of saying that, you can use the idiom by saying, I have bought a lemon. So what you're really saying is that you've made a purchase which was worthless. So the car has probably been giving you problems and you don't think it was a good purchase at all. And that's what to buy a lemon means. The next phrase, on me. It means to offer to pay for a person's expenses, usually food or a drink. So it is basically an offer to pay for Well, sometimes, you know, if you are celebrating and, you know, you want to go out with friends and you're in a very happy mood, uh, you might just say something like, you know, today is my 21st birthday. Let's go out and, you know, let's go out for a drink. It is on me. What you're actually saying is that come out, guys, let's all go. But you don't have to pay for anything because... I'm going to offer to pay for whatever we are going to have, you know, in any particular restaurant or any any place that we are going for. The next one, to pay one's way. It means to contribute to one's share of expenses. Don't we all love somebody like that? So, you know, if I'm going out with a couple of friends, I, I would say that I am going to pay my way, which means I'm going to contribute to my own share of expenses. Um, so, so basically, you know, when we go out, I won't be, it's not gonna be on me like the previous phrase was. In fact, this phrase is quite the opposite of this one, because over here we say, I am going to be paying for everything, but when I say that I am going to be paying my own way, it means I will be contributing only to my share of expenses. I don't recommend you to, you do that on a date. Um, anyway, the next one is to pay through the nose. What it means is that you pay way too much for something. Have
have you ever you know bought a dress uh, or an outfit and you've kind of you know worn it uh, you know a couple of times and then you've kind of wondered what was i thinking you know you've paid way too much for something so so basically you've paid through your nose for something that was really not you know something that you should have paid for but it, you've paid exceedingly higher than what you should have so to pay through the nose means to pay way too much for something uh, as a quick recap i'll just you know run through these phrases again to buy a lemon means buying something that is worthless you know it has not given you what you expected it to after buying it on me is to offer to pay for a person's drinks or food mainly uh, to pay one's way is to contribute toward my or one's own share of expenses and to pay through the nose is to paying way too much for something exceedingly so i'm sure uh, i will you know you've understood these phrases but i will be back with some more phrases all right friends and now we're going to look at a new set of idioms words and phrases with relation to shopping and activities with relation to buying um, the next phrase is to shop around it basically means to visit a number of shops to compare prices most of the times we do this when we are you know buying really expensive items like uh, you know a refrigerator or a tv or an lcd uh, the idea behind this is you know you go to several shops you compare prices you see the best and you buy it um, i know a lot of you girls also do that when you want to buy the best outfit and that's what shopping around means it basically means you visit a number of shops to compare prices. The next one is to shoplift. It basically means to steal goods from a shop. Well, all you shop owners, I know how much you hate such people. Um, well, shoplifting is a crime. It basically means, you know, you walk into a store you you buy you take whatever you want but you don't pay for it uh, you don't want to be caught doing something like that uh, and this normally happens sometimes when when shopping uh, and and therefore it is a, a very useful terminology that you will come across and maybe sometimes have to unfortunately use the next um, phrase is to shop till you drop well I don't know if that literally happens but to shop till you drop means that it means go that you go on a very long shopping trip now have you seen people with their shopping bags in both hands and they're, they're, they're a mess, you know, they're, they're tired shopping. So they've literally shopped till they've dropped. So they have gone on a very long shopping trip. You know, they've, they've shopped a lot of things. They, they've bought clothes, you know, accessories, uh, you name it. They've just done a lot of shopping and they've spent a lot of money. So that's what it means. Um, to shut shop. Then this phrase basically means to close shop usually some kind of business so I may have a business you know a business which you know which sells clothes so if I say I'm shutting shop I mean that you know I mean that I'm closing my business for some time so for example I may say something like uh, during Christmas season we have very few customers so we shut shop or I, I can say something like, you know, th there was a riot going on in Mumbai, so we had to shut shop. So that's what it means when I say to shut shop. So uh, we'll be back with some more phrases with relation to shopping and buying. Um, shopping therapy. Well, um, the, what, what exactly is it? 
Uh, well, you know, the other day uh, I had a friend and, you know, she was quite depressed. And I said, let's go out and, you know, get you into some kind of shopping therapy, which, by the way, is also called retail therapy by most people. What exactly this is? Well, uh, in other words, it means that the idea that buying or shopping can cheer you up well a lot of people uh, you know they are uh, of the opinion that when they buy new clothes uh, you know new outfits or maybe uh, you know a new TV or a new LCD they kind of feel good um, they can they kind of come out of a very depressed mood and that's when they indulge in shopping therapy also called as the retail therapy so it is basically a, an idea it, it does not necessarily have to cheer you up but it is an idea that buying or a lot of shopping that you do can cheer you up and and that's what i took my friend for the next um, phrase that we will deal with is dressed to kill well um it does not literally mean getting dressed to kill somebody it means that you know you are in you dress in your best clothes uh, just this New Year's, you know, I had met a friend of mine and, uh, you know, she was wearing a really good outfit and, uh, I mean, she, she looked, you know, way different than I used to usually look at her. So, uh, I can say that she was dressed to kill. What I really mean by that is she was dressed in her best clothes and she looked really good. She looked really good wearing her best clothes. So, when I say that I am dressed to kill, I basically mean that I'm dressed in my best clothes in order to look very good, which my friend did on that day. My next idiom is fit like a glove. It basically means something that fits perfectly well. Well, um, sometimes, you know, we, we buy an outfit and it fits us really well we don't have to do any kind of alteration it, it's just a perfect fit don't we all like that well that exactly is what a f you know when, when we say fit like a glove that's what it, that's what it really means but uh, it doesn't necessarily always have to you know uh, be in relation to clothes it could also be furniture that you've bought you know i may have a certain amount of space to have a sofa in my living room and uh, you know if that sofa that i've bought fit that that small space in a perfect way without me having to move it around i will go ahead and say that that fit like a glove so fitting like a glove means that when any kind of purchase that you've you've made uh, fits you perfectly well or fits the space that you are you know purchasing it for in a very good way uh, the next one is on a shoestring budget. What exactly is a shoestring budget? Uh, you know, shoestring talks about something that is, you know, very cheap, something that is not expensive at all. And, you know, taking that as your, as your clue, I, I will just tell you what shoestring budget means is that it means... being on a small budget so uh, you know for example I can talk about a student you know who who has to pay his own way through the university so since he you know his parents do not pay for him he is now on a shoestring budget he is paying you know for himself so therefore his budget would you know normally logically be a small one because it is him paying for himself so, um, you know, the other day I had a friend of mine who had to, you know, who wanted to travel around the world, but uh, of course, because of budget constraints, she was on a small budget and, you know, that's when you can say that she was on a shoestring budget. 
Uh, well, well, that's uh, well. Basically, just to give you a recap, shopping therapy or retail therapy is the idea that buying or shopping can cheer you up. Dressed to kill basically means dressing in a very good way. You know, dressing in a way which makes you look very good. And fitting like a glove is when something that you've purchased fits you to the perfect in a perfect way. And shoestring budget it basically means restricting yourself or being in a very small budget which you cannot exceed because of you know money problems so uh, well that's it for the idioms phrases and words with relation to shopping and buying uh, i'm sure you've all enjoyed this very much because you all love to shop and buy new things uh, well i'll be seeing you soon with some more phrases some more idioms well a goodbye to all of you and happy shopping